Today I uh, want to, I was trying to think of the best way to do this. I want to recount my story, you know, and how it's, how I've progressed throughout the years and uh, the best way to do that. So uh, I figured I'd start with a uh, more or less a, chron a chronology of timeline of, of, of my progression and uh, how I found out with MS and how I've dealt with symptoms and uh, how I've progressed through the years. Um, you know, to, get, to give away the end of where I am now, I will say that 18 years on, I uh, currently I use a wheelchair mostly to get around now, a power chair. Uh, I can stand up and, you know, kind of scuff my feet around uh, the house and uh, should definitely be doing more of that than I, than I, than I do. But, you know, it's the story of, of my life and probably a lot of your lives uh, definitely need to be doing more movement than I do. But that's where I am now. Um, and I'm also currently on Ocarus, uh, uh every six months uh, managing it all. But uh, it's been a long road to this point, so I'll, I'll, I'll just start from the beginning. I, I, I kind of see my life and my diagnosis uh, broken down into three or four chunks. So today we'll talk about the first chunk, the first uh, four or five years or so. Uh, like I said, I was diagnosed in 2004 uh, when I was 18, right before senior high school, uh, senior year graduation. Uh, and I really, the symptom, my symptoms popped up shortly after I was in a car accident. Uh, I, I grew up in Northern Virginia outside Washington, D.C. and uh, just home to plenty of too many ice storms and uh, you're out and, and driving and all of a sudden it's, it's bad and you really shouldn't be. Uh, but yeah, I, I was taking a turn a little, a little fast and uh, hit a car oncoming. I was okay mostly. After, shortly after then, I noticed my face, uh, my right side of my face, my lost sensation in my cheek. Uh, and also, my parents noticed this at the dinner table, just when I'd be eating and turning to to talk to them, my eyes would not be following uh, as they should be. Uh, so with that, we we went to an ophthalmologist, um, had them do a do an exam. Um, from there, they referred me to a neurologist. I went to a, a pediatric neurologist, I think, um, who then refer, uh, referred me to their in-house more about MS uh, practitioner um, in, in their practice, and uh, who uh, did think I had MS. And uh, I kind of laugh at it now. Uh, my mom only recently reminded me that when he said I had MS, I, my reaction was more or less, "Well, can I? Am I going to die?" And he said, no, this is a, a disease uh, you can live with and manage. So from there, I just took it as something to manage in my life. Don't let it drown me down, but just, you know, take my ability for what it is. Um, but yeah, so he pretty quickly put me on Avonex, which was uh, more one of the more leading drugs at the time. I'm not sure how often it's still prescribed these days, uh, but it's a weekly intramuscular injection the pretty gnarly needle about two inches long and kind of thick. Uh, I could give it to myself, but I was uh, pretty wimpy about stabbing it into my leg. So uh, definitely uh, had nurses do that instead, uh, which added up in, in time and, and, and money. Uh, but you put me on that pretty quickly, just also while we were waiting for an appointment for a um, uh, lumbar puncture spinal tap to check the cerebral the biomarkers and the cerebral spinal fluid uh, for MS um, and that happened in the summer and uh, must have been July and uh, because I distinctly remember it's, it's pretty bad after getting that I went home and laid down for uh, probably about six hours as you know they tell you to do definitely take it easy afterwards but I did not heed that as much as I should have. And being an 18 year old, I wanted to get back to my summer job as a camp counselor. I went back into the heat of summer camp um, and kids climbing all around and, and you running around. And I uh, ruptured the uh, spot of impact and of the needle. And from there I was laid out on my back with a headache, you know, that's unlike anything other that would just pound and pound and pound as the, my uh, fluid around my brain had, le had leaked out and uh, my brain was rubbing up against uh, my skull. It is incredibly painful. If you ever have a lumbar puncture or a spinal tap, you, you can't get through it. It's not, 
a incredibly difficult uh, procedure. Just heed your doctor's warning and take it easy for a while afterwards. Uh, but yeah, that's so that that from there I uh, came back uh, confirming uh, the diagnosis, and so I was confirmed to be living with it. Um, so that summer, I um, went off to start my freshman year at Tulane University in New Orleans uh, because MS wasn't going to dissuade my plans and what I wanted to do with my life. And uh, uh, so being a headstrong, independent uh, person, I continued on um, with my with my plans of going down there and dealt accordingly. I uh, um, set up a weekly appointment with the student health center there for um, my weekly shot with a very kind nurse who I'm still Facebook friends with, uh, Debbie Applebaum. So thank you so much for everything. And uh, I continued on with my weekly shot. I, you know, was even running at the time. I did have a little bit of foot drop, but it's mostly manageable. Uh, but at this point, you know, with relapsing remitting MS is, is the most common uh, form of the disease uh, for folks um, in the early years. Uh, all of these symptoms did eventually uh, go away. You know, it kind of uh, has the idea of it. These symptoms pop up for weeks or for months at a time, and then fade back into um, uh, where you were. So from you know from there, when and thank God you know, the timing of of when these things happened, uh, I lived a pretty damn normal college life, uh, especially at Tulane. And in that time, you know, was a uh, uh, it was a blessing. I, this was before Uber, so there was a hell of a lot of walking, and uh, and you know it's every college life thing. I did a semester abroad in London and explored that city and all of Europe with my friends. And uh, even uh, two thousand fall of two thousand five was the uh, when Hurricane Katrina hit, and I uh, went to University of Virginia for the semester. Um, but yeah, so you know all of that said, it was a luckily a pretty normal college experience living with MS. Um, so it can you can live a, a normal life after diagnosis, uh, uh, hopefully, and also with some with your own uh, commitment to uh, to bettering yourself and, um, and, and getting through it. Uh, so after college, though, I moved back home uh, to Virginia, and uh, wanted to pursue a career in DC and the sort of government um, relations field, um, national security think tank stuff, uh, where I was living at home for uh, the first year after college. And again, still being too much of a wimp to give myself the shots. I was finding myself driving all over uh, Northern Virginia, DC area to get a weekly nurse appointment with a nurse to give me a shot. And uh, no place really was able or really you know, sign me up for a, a committed weekly time. So, you know, this was tough. Um, starting your career and starting office life and dedicating uh, time to that. So, uh, so with all of that, oh, you know, I didn't even say anything about the side effects of Avonex. Um, they were pretty rough. Um, about seven or eight hours after you get the shot, uh, you get pretty intense. You can get pretty intense flu-like symptoms. Um, so I would often time my shots at about four, take plenty of Advil, go to bed. Sometimes they would wake me up uh, in the middle of the night shivering and, and cold and, and super weak. Uh, but usually by the time you wake up, it's all, it's all good and it's, uh, and it's passed. Um, but yeah, it was, it was pretty rough. And, um, you know, uh, so I think it was, I must have been 20 after a, it must have been 23. At some point when I was 23, um, you know, I was stable and I missed read that and I said, you know what, I'm going to try going off medication for the time being. And my neurologist gave me his blessing and um, I decided to, to go medication free uh, for the time. Um, you know, looking back, uh, this is a, it was an incredibly regrettable decision, um, but we've all made those. And, uh, you know, I think I'll, I'll, I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end this episode there and uh, because from there it goes into uh, you know the real next phase of, of my life in NMS. So I think that's a good stopping point. And uh, yeah, ask, ask any questions in the comments and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I look forward to, to talking to you on the next one. Thanks.